What's this experience been like for you covering Caitlin Clark? It's actually been very wild because, you know, we've, I've been covering women's college basketball for 30 years. I have seen a lot. I have seen the height of UConn's greatness. I've seen Maya Moore, Candace Parker, you know, some of the hype around some of these big athletes. And I just haven't ever seen anything like this. I was in Nebraska the day she had a chance to break the first division one record. I was in Minnesota night before last, and it is absolute chaos, adoration, you know, little girls, um, there's thousands of number 22 jerseys, little girls screaming, Caitlin, Caitlin. I mean, it's just really, it's precious. It's amazing. And I think of the legacy that she's leaving. All these little girls, they'll remember this for the rest of their lives. They'll love basketball for the rest of their lives. And I've run into people like one dad who brought his daughter from Canada, who flew in from Alberta to watch Caitlin Clark play. Another mother of three that drove a thousand miles from Arkansas to Nebraska to see Caitlin Clark play and Iowa. So it's been really wild. Feels like it's boy band type stuff, like One Direction or, you know, throw out in sync. Yeah, Taylor Swift. Come on. It's Taylor Swift at its finest. Okay. And, and boy bands. Well, I'm Taylor just. Taylor Swift's the hottest person in sport or in, in uh, you know, fandom. Well, I, I guess just the, the frenzy surrounding yeah. something like that. But you're right. If you want to put, you know, she's the Taylor Swift of sports here with, uh, you know, what's happened. H how ha has she changed in the last couple of years with all of this? Or how has she changed? No, I would say there's a couple of ways she's changed. Number one, um, she's had to get an agency. You know, she was doing this and her family were kind of doing this on their own until midway through this season. And the crush just got too big and the sponsorship opportunities just got too big. She's now signed with some of the biggest brands we have in America, you know, in Nike, uh, Gatorade and Nike um, State Farm. And so she's getting help from an agency. And it's really interesting how they navigate. Like I can put in requests with their sports information people, but then they have to go through the agency to get to her. It's a lot. But her as a person, the only thing she's changed is she's gotten better on the basketball court. She's handling this. So well, I've asked her, you know, do you feel pressure? Is this overwhelming? Because I feel overwhelmed at these games with all this crush of people. And she said, no, I'm just enjoying every second. And, and she is comfortable on the court. She is embracing all of this um, madness and, and, and loving it. And it's not a collective like NIL. She actually has true sponsors, not somebody taking up money to give to her. Therefore, that should translate to the WNBA. I saw where the sports business reporter, Darren Ravel said she's going to take a $750,000 pay cut. And I'm thinking, I don't think they just invested in Caitlin Clark at Iowa. They're investing in Caitlin Clark. Yes. I think that would probably be wildly inaccurate because she'll only get more marketing money in the WNBA. You know, there is a lot in collectives. There is a lot in NIL and college right now. But there's a lot of money in the WNBA. I mean, stars are making, you know, millions of dollars. Maybe the salaries are not where they need to be. But I promise you, Asia Wilson, Brianna Stewart, the top players in the WNBA are making in the millions um, with all of their endorsement deals. And Caitlin Clark is the hottest thing going to a Midwest team, likely in the Indiana Fever. It's a five-hour drive from Iowa. If you, you don't mean to tell me all these Iowa fans aren't going to drive. They're, they're doing that every weekend anyway to come and see Caitlin Clark play. So I think it's only going to get bigger and better for her. And, you know, the WNBA has marketing money. There is money there. I, do, I think that's a little bit of a misnomer. Maybe it's not as much as the men. There's plenty of money there to go around.